deep in the north of Minnesota lies the small town of Milwaukee. There, a pizza restaurant named Vi's is the most blessed, godly pizza you've ever had in your entire life. The Hotsy Potsy. This recipe is not that, it is however on the menu, so we're going to be making that one instead. Hi guys, Cowley here from Soon Chow. The channel where we try and cook recipes on a budget and try to mix the frenetic energy of Michael Reeves and the dry sense of humour of Julian Salamento into something not quite as good as either. So this recipe is a chicken alfredo pizza. Um, there are a couple of recipes online that I researched before doing this. So we're going to try and create something out of all of them and we're going to use beer for the pizza dough that will help it rise. And to change things up today, um, I'm going to do the narration in post. So hopefully the cooking should go a little bit quicker and uh, you should be able to enjoy yourself. Are you ready? Right, strap yourself in you binging with babish wannabe. Let's do this. Yeah, I thought so. Start by creating your yeast mix. Do this by adding your yeast to a jug with your beer. Make sure the beer is room temp to make sure its yeast is activated. I went with lager as it's carbonated and will keep the dough nice, light and airy. Give it a mix and then leave for 10 minutes to get to know each other. For the dry ingredients, add your flour, salt and olive oil to a bowl. Give a quick mix before slowly adding in your beer and yeast. Bring together until it starts to become one mass and then tip out onto a floured surface and knead by rolling and stretching it. Keep working at it for about 10 minutes and by that time it should come together to one whole smooth dough. Put it back into the bowl once it's been oiled and leave to proof for about a half hour. The idea is that it should be twice the size. Next up is the sauce which like babishes is inspired from America's test kitchen. Add your cream to a pan and heat through until it reduces down by about a third. Make sure it doesn't boil. Add your butter, give it a stir and cook until it becomes thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Season with salt, pepper and nutmeg. Emphasis on the nut. Add your grated parmesan cheese, you'll know you've used enough when it leaves an indent in your hand. Finish the cooking process by adding just a little splash of milk. This will help reduce it down as well. Next, prep your toppings. For this, I've broken up Italian seasoned chicken sausage as it's easier than cooking chicken as well as some sliced mushrooms. Fry off your sausages in a pan with oil, transfer to a bowl and cook the mushrooms in the same pan. I've also sliced up some red onion to go on top and a little parsley to garnish with at the end. Okay, it's time to bring it all together. Turn out your dough and flatten into a pizza. We're gonna go for like a deep dish style pizza. So lay it in a floured oven proof pan and spread over your sauce nice and thick. Oh. Do it better than I did in this tape, please. Just, I know, it's dumb, but I'm in editing, so yeah. Goody. <laughs> Lay over your sauce nice and thick, and then top off with all of your toppings. So that's your mushroom, your sausage, your onion. Just go wild with it. It's a nice deep dish pizza, so lots of toppings, lots of flavor in every bite. It's gonna be good. Make sure it doesn't land on the crust. I see that piece of red onion. Good. And that mushroom, God will, get it together. Bake it in an oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, then at 220 degrees Celsius for another 10 minutes. The pizza should be golden brown. And yes, I know my oven needs a clean, but it's getting replaced soon, so what can you do? We're in the home stretch guys, garnish with parsley and chili flake and like my dad after 20 years of marriage, you're done. This super decadent dish is great for cheat day, so give it a go and let me know how you get on. And there we have it guys, it's that easy. Um, I really like the colour, especially with the fresh parsley. Um, 
last time I did this for recipe development, um, I um, used double the ingredients for double the pizza. So this was just the right amount. I've got a little bit of sauce left, uh, which I can run some pasta through. So that's like a midweek lunch, that kind of thing. And yeah, I'm just super, super keen to try this. So let's find out how good it is. Once again, perfect crust. I think swapping out the water for beer just gives it a little bit, little bit more lift, a little bit more air, and it just makes it a really nice, flaky pizza crust. Sauce is amazing, um, nice and creamy. It doesn't need any extra cheese on it because of the parmesan, and yeah, I'm very pleased with this recipe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay safe. I know times are tough at the moment, but change is coming, and we've all got to work together to make it so. So yeah, thank you guys, see you later.